Hello everyone, this is Steve with Beckson's and today I have another fragrance review, this time from a new house that I just discovered and they are called 3-in-1 Parfums and the um, cologne I'll be reviewing today is their take on the Mod's Reflection Man. So real quick of how I found out about the Mod's Reflection Man and 3-in-1 Parfums was one of my subscribers actually sent me a couple samples. <clears throat> One was by Toy Boy Mochino, and one was their take on Scent of Peace, ball number nine. I like both of them a lot. Um, and that ball number nine, Scent of Peace, actually has potential to be one of my favorite colognes. However, they did discontinue making that one, but they need to put that one back on our list because that one was great. But anyway, so back to um, Amage Reflection Man and their take on this one is, I get like a soapy, elegant, powdery fragrance with this one, similar to how I felt about um, Creep Vetiver. Um, it gives me that elegant soapy vibe, um, feeling like very classy. Um, the notes in this one that I get are like a sweet neroli, a sweet orris, um, patchouli, a sweet lavender, and cedarwood, which all makes this cologne different because it Usually, I think of soapy and fresh fragrances that usually aren't as sweet or perform that great. So this one is the opposite. So this one will perform its projection and price. So when it comes to projection, when I initially spray this one, I do get a dose of like sweetness, powderiness, um, great smell, and it goes for about three three hours here. So what, that's the first thing that's usually different about. Um, fresh fragrances um, performs on this one so performance this is beast mode eight plus hours um, and the price on this one $23 for this one ounce bottle they also have smaller sizes I know their samples go for about five dollars so I highly encourage you on trying those ones out too because um, everything I tried so far from this house is pretty damn good so especially for the price value point you really can't beat it. So, um, compliment factor on this one. So, I did wear this on a date um, going out downtown, and we did a rooftop bar. And the girl I was with, she was very, you know, taken back from this one because, like, she was like, wow, this one smells very different. Whatever you're wearing smells great. And I told her what it was. It's a new house that is purchased. And she was like, keep on wearing this one. This one smells so good. It's unique and different. So she just kept saying the word unique. So that's another thing that does come up with this one. It's a unique freshie. So also with season and occasion to wear this in. So season and occasion to wear this. So I think it's an all around, all occasion, all season type of fragrance. But I think it shines best in spring and fall the tweener seasons. Summertime, it will work on more summer evenings. But however, if you do it during the summer, this could become too coin because this is powerful stuff and you will run the risk of choking someone out. And that goes with the office too. So I like this for the office, but again, you gotta be mindful of the sprays. One to two sprays, I think, in the office. And that's about it. Um, very good casual cologne. I think you can wear this also during um, black tie events. Um, professional events too, daytime professional, very well. So all season, all occasion fragrance, well-rounded. Um, could be a signature scent, I think. And the actual smell, so it does remind me a lot of a Maud's Reflection Man. And I also had another sample from another um, inspiration clone house, Alexander Fragrances. Theirs is called The Runway. And theirs almost smells identical to this one, except this one is louder and performs longer. And Alexander Ferguson says runway um, doesn't perform as long and it's more closer, it's not loud. But um, this one is loud, in my opinion, and I like loud fragrances, especially from a fresh fragrance. Um, you just can't beat it. So, yeah, occasion season pretty much all around. Smells pretty much close to the same as Marjorie Mar Mar Fluxion Man. So, that kind of leads me to my final rating here. And overall, my final rating on this one is 9 out of 10. And the only reason I have to give it a 9 out of 10 is it loses one point because it is a clone. 
But other than that, I think it almost beats it in just about every category. Performance and price are the main value points here. The price, $23 for a one ounce bottle versus um, Alexander Francis, their runway costs $62 for two ounces. And they do also, and their modular reflection, man, the actual version of it is $350. So you can't beat it, performs, projects, price point, home run here. Highly recommended this one. So let me know what you think. Have you had any experience with um, a Maj Reflection Man, Runway, or this one? Let me know your opinions about this one down below in the comment box. And finally, I do want to discuss, I am giving away a sample out, and this one's gonna be the new Polo Green. Not the old man Polo Green that your granddad and all your teachers had. This is a new modern take on a Polo Green, more fresh, more modern um, green, as it indicates. But um, to be entering this sample giveaway, um, please like and subscribe to the video, or subscribe to the channel and like the video. And the question I want you to answer down below is, what's your favorite springtime date fragrance? Is it a Mars Reflection Man? Is it a Never Creed fragrance? Is it uh, Aqua De Gio, Wonder Flankers? Which one's one of your favorite ones? Maybe it's a new house I never heard before. But just let me know, and the sample giveaway will be done after one week after I post the video, and I'll pin the comments down below. Um, thanks for viewing, and to remember to always stay fresh.